Welcome to the Twinkle Talks EYFS podcast. Working in the early years is busy, funny, messy and exhausting. Join me, Shana, and the rest of the Twinkle EYFS team as we talk honestly about our experiences as practitioners, teachers and professional nappy changers. Whether you're listening to increase your CPD hours or catching up on our antics whilst driving home from work, Twinkle EYFS will share everything you need to know about all things early years. wonderful listeners. I hope you can guess that today's episode is going to be slightly different. We are full swing in the Christmas spirit here over at Twinkle EYFS and we want to share that with you. So today's episode is a super Christmas special with me and the rest of the Twinkle Early Years team. We're going to have some games, we're going to try some Christmas cracker jokes and we're going to try some Christmas quizzes as well. Let's see how well we do. I bet you guys can do much better than we can. Also, we did record this episode in the middle of November, so you might notice I'm really into the Christmas spirit, but the others aren't quite there yet, but now you know why. Now, we look a little bit different since we lasted an episode together. Let's have a look at who's on the team today and get started with some Christmas fun. to the Christmas special team. Thank you for spending some time with me. And of course, our team has changed uh, since we've last had a group recording together. We've got two beautiful new faces and um, two have left us. How dare they? How rude. I hope they're listening. We are not sore at all. We are. But let's have a new introduction of everybody on our team. Who wants to go first? Hello, my name's Charlotte. Great. What do you do, Charlotte? Oh, you want a full on like... (laughs) I mean, it would be nice to get to know you. (laughs) Hello, my name's Charlotte, and I'm a segment assistant for the preschools and nursery segment. This is too much pressure. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. We'll move on. Uh, Claire. Hi, I'm Claire. I am a segment assistant for the Twinkle EYFS school segment. So you've probably seen me on Facebook if you're in our lovely groups. And I'm also head of EYFS in a independent school. Hi, I'm Fliss. I am do the same position as Charlotte, so a segment assistant for the nurseries and preschool team. Hello, I'm Katie. I'm I'm still hanging around from the last podcast and Can't I, get rid of am, her. <laughs> I am also in the private nurseries and preschool segment for Twinkle. It's very exciting, guys. We've expanded. Before we were all one team and now we're like, we've split. PVI, private nurseries and preschools, and early years as well. But we're still one big happy family. That's why we're still here. I love Helping it. Helping more and more early years practitioners. Oh my gosh, guys, stick it on a t shirt. That's what we do, eh? <laughs> okay. Now, we are here because we're going to play some games, some Christmas games. It's the Christmas spirit. All right. Who's in the Christmas spirit already? Say aye. Uh, definitely. Aye. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a. that was terrible. Um, not yet. I feel like by this point, we've been celebrating Christmas too long. No. That, uh, that's a swear word in my opinion. How dare you? I was ready for Christmas as soon as Halloween was over. The shocking. I'm, I'm with you. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. Okay. Are you a 1st of November person, Shana? 100%. 100%. I've got a Christmas wreath on my front door already. And you can bet tomorrow I'm putting the Christmas tree up. 100%. No, thank you. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Cheers. How dare you? How dare you? Thank you. Too early. There's <laughs> no such thing as too early. Get the Christmas spirit. Now, if you're not in the Christmas spirit already, you will be after this episode because we're going to play some games, we're going to have some fun and we're going to do it in little separate rounds. So the first round is all about what you were at the Christmas nativity. Now, I gave you some homework and I wanted you to tell me about what your uh, cr- your character was when you were in early years yourselves as little little Katie's and little Flisses and what you were in your nativity but what I didn't tell you was I've got a little uh, thing here that tells you what it says about your personality oh dear <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so we're gonna we're gonna learn a bit more about you so Charlotte hit us who were you in your early years nativity well I don't know if it actually has a specific name 
because I didn't go that deep into uh, researching. Um, but I was one of the kings. Oh! So I don't know if each king had a name. I'm not 100% sure. Do you know, they probably did, but I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you what they are. They do. Well, I was, the lead, I was the one at the front, so I was like the top dog. <laughs> you were the one at the front. Were you gold, <laughs> frankincense, or mare? <laughs> I was gold, prob- probably. Yeah, that's the best one. Aren't they Casper, Melchior, and Balthazar? Yeah. Get you! Yeah, why do you think we would know that? <laughs> don't know, mate. <laughs> well, I was thinking when you said that, I was like, did I actually have a name? Because I just called myself the like lead king. Lead Sweet. king. <laughs> That's all we need. The lead king. Head king. Yeah, it sounds really good, that, doesn't it? <laughs> it still asks us to call her that. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning more about the team dynamic as we go along. It's very interesting. But yeah, this was back when, like, um, you know, your parents could order it on video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so my mum still has mine and I've watched it obviously quite a few times because it's really funny <laughs> i'm very proud of your your what sounds like your biggest life accomplishment actually to start off with i wasn't the king i was one of the um like you know the pointless stars that just kind of <gasps> how dare you Ow. how dare you charlotte and then they realized how good i was and promoted me to the <laughs> end <laughs> well, you've changed since you became king yeah fame has got to her head already guys <laughs> okay well guess what it says about you because i don't know i'm, I'm questioning this after, after you've just <laughs> had a little chat with us if you were the what if you were a wise man or a king in your nativity yeah. right you were well behaved top of the class mm-hmm. and you can be trusted with an expensive looking prop i actually would say out of all of us charlotte would not be trusted with the expensive prop. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when I was four, I was trusted. So what happened in them yeah. years in between? <laughs> I don't know, I just lost We don't it. have enough time. We, there's too much. It also says you have an introspection and dignity that translate to a sombre, thoughtful expression. Oh. Well, apparently I got the part because I was really loud. Because oh. <laughs> I, I could shout the words. Like, I was really good at projecting oh. my voice. And last but not least, good sense of direction i.e. when following the stars. Even though I was, like, pulling my tights up in the video, like, all the way through, it was just, like, ragging my tights because they kept falling down. I mean, they're itchy, so we, yeah. can, we can forgive you for that. Yeah, oh. so uh, that's apparently your personality, Charlotte. I'm not sure if I agree. Well, I don't know. It's really changed over the years. <laughs> uh, Claire, who were you in your nativity? Well, I'm not sure I want to dig up this harrowing memory. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, I was the angel gabriel which in theory <gasps> yeah i know the best part i think Girl. better yeah. than mary i'm not gonna lie yeah loved it very happy because everybody had these like white dresses like all of the angels had these white dresses that were just literally like a bed sheet with a hole cut in it but the angel gabriel's one had tinsel around all of the edges and looked fantastic and it was incredible and i was pumped that i got to wear it so having a great time day of the nativity comes and Hannah won't say her last name, just in case she's listening. <laughs> Wore my tinsel dress. <gasps> yep. You know who you are, Hannah. Hannah. Oh. <laughs> I'm still, still livid. She wore my tinsel dress, so I was the Angel Gabriel in a plain bed sheet. Still had my giant star, but that's not the point. And I was livid about it. It's the role of a lifetime as she took that experience away from you. I know. And I remember, because it was my mum's nursery, and I remember just looking at her being like, Mum. How have you let this happen? Mom, what are you going to do about this? <laughs> just, why Why is this happening? And I said, she's got my dress on. And they were like, it's all right. Don't worry. I, like, I am worried because I want the tinsel dress. This is my part. Claire, I'm I'm learning a new side to you. I've never seen the side of you before. Claire the diva. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm bitter about it. Well, when we look at your personality because of it, <laughs> <laughs> um, you might not be happy with this. Okay, so if you were an angel... Um, you crave attention. You're constantly <laughs> disappointed. You're jealous of other people's success. <laughs> you're rebellious in the face of obscurity. And you're capable of entertaining yourself for hours. For example, with a piece of tinsel that fell off the halo. Oh, dear. I feel like all of those qualities came out in that story. <laughs> they did, but I feel like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually a She's rebelling against this. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Well... <laughs> I mean, it's such a contrast to the one that we did before because it was like, you're lovely. Yeah, everyone loves you. Yeah, now it's just like, you're jealous. I've changed. (laughs) 
it's been a rough year. <laughs> oh, uh, Fliss, who were you in your EYFS nativity? I have two memories. I remember I've seen um, there's a picture downstairs, you know, like the old pictures of me dressed as an angel. And I remember I don't really remember that, but I kind of remember being an angel. But I have a really fond memory of being a star and carrying this gold star and I brought it home and I kept it in my bedroom for it must have been ages because it I slotted it down the side of my wardrobe and all the paper started to like turn in in on itself as it was getting older and older and I just remember that so well like walking with this star on a stick well let's go with star then let's do that your weird curly star that's like growing mold in the corner of the wardrobe. <laughs> I actually, I can remember I kept it for ages. Like, why did my parents? I'm just so that? proud. But see, look, here's why. Right, there are three things. Apparently, if you were a star in your nativity, you think you got the role because of your star quality. You're a star, basically. Actually, just because they're too. Ne- what does that even mean? Actually, just because they're too nervous to speak in front of mean parents. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I probably wasn't the most confident speaker. That's probably oh, yeah, because the me. star doesn't speak, does it? Doesn't speak, yeah. Got it. Okay, that was a bit of a weird one. Um, I could hear the cogs ticking in my brain reading that one. Um, And the last one, but you're a team player. No, that's true. Oh, yeah. That is true. I'll take that. Yeah, 100%. Sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, Katie, I'm dying to know what you are. I was narrator number three. Oh, so, see, I'm pretty important. I was going to bank on narrator one. But I was close. Third best, unfortunately, didn't quite make top. Oh. So for this one, it's actually quite funny. Uh, if you were a narrator of any kind, doesn't matter what number, all right, there's, there's no levels here. You are the one who organises all the social engagement. You love the... <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's mean. <laughs> oh, it's mean. Oh, where did you find me? <laughs> I'll put the link in the episode so you can do it yourself. <laughs> you love the sound of your own voice. I have the worst accent. <laughs> You end up doing everything because you don't trust anyone else to do it right. No. No, that's absolutely not true at all. I say, yeah, as a manager, yeah, I, I wouldn't say that's true. No. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the last one, classic, uh, bossy AF. I mean, hopefully not with you guys, but definitely bossy at home. <laughs> I walk in the door and I'm like, excuse me, it's 6.30, where's dinner? <laughs> I'm a wonderful person. You, yeah, but you are. In seriousness, you are. These are these are like shady. These these. Yeah, these were mean, Shana. The animal ones were a lot nicer. They were, weren't they? Well, I don't know. There's there's maybe some hope, right? Because I remember when I was in early years, I get, I got the role of Mary. Uh, someone was going to have to be a Mary here. Yeah, but you say that, I declined. Ooh. Why? Because I wanted to be a donkey. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> oh, okay. I see where you're going with this. Yeah, so um, I decided to be a donkey. So you can probably imagine what it says about my personality here. Okay, if you were a donkey in your nativity, you are cheeky. You can be a bit of an ass at times. <laughs> no, I, I hear that giggle. No, <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> They think they're too cool to take the play seriously, but secretly loves being an important part of the story. Well, I gave up the main role, so I'm not sure how true that is. Because you were too cool for it. Is that why you did it? <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be the typical Mary. No, no, give me the donkey. I will donkey the hell out of this. Nativity. I've got something to really bring to this role. Mary's too easy for someone like me. <laughs> Yeah, basically. So, yeah, what did you think, guys? Do you think uh, you agree with your with your personality traits or not? No. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. Yeah, me neither. But, I mean, it was a bit of fun. It was a bit of fun. But it was fun. Yeah, that was fine. That was great. Great, great. Thanks for that. Round two of Christmas fun times is, oh, Christmas random facts. Now, I find this hard because it took me a while to find a good one. But I want to see what Christmas random facts you have brought to the table to share with our listeners. Charlotte, what have you got for me? Well, I found one, but then I thought it was a bit deep for a podcast. Oh. So I got a different one instead. <laughs> Thanks, Charlotte. So basically, you're just saying we're not clever enough. To, to hear it no I just it was lacking the fun yeah it was just a bit serious and I'm not about it was it. a fun fact bit yeah. oh yeah okay got it so I went for Santa Claus did not always dress in red clothes so he's not always been red he was actually green purple or blue oh but then when Coca-Cola took over 
and did all the stuff for Santa, he then became red and that stuck. So that's why Santa Claus wears red. Mm. Obviously the greatest marketing of all time. Yeah. Yeah. And red is like the Christmas colour. Yeah. yeah. And also, you know when it's Christmas, don't you? When you see the advert on the telly, holidays are coming, holidays oh, are coming. And then the Coca-Cola van comes, it's like, right, it's Christmas, we're done. Yeah, so Santa used to be green or purple. And then when Coca-Cola got their hands on him, they um, redesigned him and turned him red. I saw a paramedic van pulled up on the side of the road the other day. And around the, the edge, they have like flashing lights in the dark so you can see that they're there. I thought it was like... Do you know sometimes the Coca-Cola van, like big lorry, comes around the area? <laughs> I thought it was that, and then I got, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" And I was like, "Nope, nope, nope. Someone's not well. Someone's not well. Quite the opposite." Oh no! Long time to celebrate. Yeah, that's not a mistake you want to make. Is it? But also, why was that your first thought? <laughs> because I've like, just driven past some Christmas lights, so I was like, "Oh my god, it's happening! It's time!" You had it on the brain. That's so funny. <laughs> See, she's not a Scrooge. She does want Christmas to go. I like looking at pretty lights. I'm a simple mind. Who doesn't? (laughs) Claire, what's your random fact? Well, I've got one from my homeland. So Your homeland? My homeland, Germany. I was gonna say black land. Oh I didn't know that. (gasps) Well not really. My my mum is German. I love that. I know. So we're have a lot of um very German Christmas traditions that only come out at Christmas time. Um, but one of them you may or may not know is candy canes. So in Germany, they used to give them to children. Well, they weren't actually candy canes. They were just red and white, like stripy candies. Give them to children during very long church services to keep them quiet. I respect that. That's clever. So maybe one we can use in the uh, early years too. <laughs> that would work on me. Really. Um, but then they started hanging them on trees. And that's why they became popular and that shape, like candy cane shape. That's a good fact. I've never actually eaten a candy cane. I don't know what they taste of. Whatever they're flavoured with, mate. (laughs) Yeah, it's a bit strange. Toothpaste and strawberries. Why have you never had a candy cane? Um, I'd rather just have chocolate. Does anyone actually put them on the tree? No. Right, if we do Secret Santa and I get you, <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting bulk order. <laughs> candy canes. All these candy canes. Do you know that in Harry Potter when all the letters come through the door? That's Just you. That candy yeah. canes. Good luck, because they're gross, in my opinion. Yeah, to be fair, every year I buy a box to hang on the tree, and every year they go in the bin yeah. at the end of December. <laughs> They'd like toothpaste with sweets. I just, it doesn't make sense to yeah, me. Yeah, I would have assumed the white bit of a candy cane was mint and I do not enjoy like minty flavour. And then I thought the red bit would probably be strawberry. I thought they were all mint. I think it's just mint and sugar. Yeah, I think it's just like peppermint. But you can buy strawberry flavoured ones, can't you? You can buy any flavour, can't you? Can you? Yeah, there's like cocktail flavoured ones. Oh, that's my jam. Like... Okay. Yeah. If anyone knows where to buy cocktail candy canes. I'll let you know. Me. Um, Thanks, 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 thanks. Fliss, what is your Christmas random fact? Mine is that the reindeer haven't always been called what when we know them to be called now. They've had lots of names. So um, Rudolph was actually nearly called Rollo. It's not quite the same vibe, is it? And then some of the other ones had other names. And one of them that stood out to me was Flossie, because that just reminds me of my name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was quite cute. Okay, challenge for everyone on that. No, I knew you were going to do this and I didn't write it down. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you just know me so well, Fliss. Who can name... Wait, how many are there? Twelve. Nine. Nine. Oh. Who can name all nine of the reindeers? Go. Yeah, man. Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vix and Comet and Cupid and Donder and Blitz and Rudolph. That was eight. That's all of them. Say it again. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitz and Rudolph. All right, we've got a teacher's pet here. You've just been waiting for someone to ask you that, ain't you, Claire? Is that it? <sighs> I mean, I feel like my moment has come. Doesn't everybody know that though? No. No! What? I used to think there were only seven for a really long time, and it wasn't until I taught my class that there was nine. I was like, oh. I thought there were 12. Who did you cut out? I could have maybe named three. But in, Fliss is right. In the Night Before Christmas story, is it the Night Before Christmas? Yeah. When he says it, Donna is Dunder, Blitz and is Blixum. Oh. Yeah, he gave all the other names, but I didn't write them down. I just wrote down the ones that sounded quite. Interesting. Cute one. I like Flossie. I like Flossie, <laughs> yeah. Why did they get rid of Flossie, that? Yeah. And I, was like, oh, I'm just I feel like that's a Twinkle original coming on. <laughs> Flossie. <laughs> Flossie the reindeer. Oh, hashtag bring back Flossie. That's what we want. Katie, what is your Christmas random fact? My one was that according to this survey I looked at, gammon is the most popular Christmas meat to have on like your Christmas lunch. 
which I thought was really strange. I'm not a huge fan of turkey, but mm. I don't think gammon would be my next go-to after that. No, I hate gammon. No, I, I do like turkey, so I'd have turkey or we have beef. Yeah, turkey or beef has got to be the top two, right? Yeah, well, not, not according to the people that were asked. Gammon surprises me. We've had curries. What did you say? Hold the front door, Charlotte. What did you just say? Curry on Christmas Day. Sorry? No. No, Boxing Day curry with the leftover no turkey. Day. It's, it's the thing, Christmas Day curries. So you don't have Christmas dinner? We, ha- we have had curries in the past. Instead of a roast dinner? Yeah, because it's a lot of work, in it? <laughs> <gasps> oh, I couldn't do that. But that's like what you do with the leftovers. That's what you do. You have your Christmas dinner on Christmas Day, and then all the leftovers, you stick in a curry on Boxing Day. No, we, we've had it on Christmas Day. So do you have your turkey on Christmas Eve? No, we don't. Sometimes we don't have it. Stunned silence. It's <laughs> blowing my mind. Uh, we just, you know, do our own Christmas. <laughs> I love it. Well, as long as you and your family are happy with your right strange traditions. That's right. I love it. Well, to be fair, my grandma and granddad used to make it. And then, you know, they got old, so they couldn't do it anymore. This is it. You guys just couldn't be bothered to make the roast. So then we kind of had to take over and we're like, ah, let's go for a curry instead. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we still have crackers like we still have like we wear hats and stuff still we're not like all scrooges do you have yorkshire pudding with a curry no yeah, no. yorkshire pudding with everything guys i'm sorry oh you've got to have yorkshire pudding yeah yorkshire curry dipped a bit of tikka masala <laughs> and crackers though at least you've got crackers i bet curry in a yorkshire pudding is actually quite nice thank you and mango chutney dip yeah dip yorkshire pudding in a mango chutney right now i really want a curry i'm going to suggest this to the family a yorkshire pudding Right. <laughs> I'm taking this to the board. This is going. <laughs> what are you doing this year? Are you having a curry this year? I don't know. We've not thought about it yet. I'm imagining a massive Yorkshire pudding <gasps> filled with curry is what's on oh the agenda God. for Charlotte's family Christmas this year. Now. <gasps> Why is that great? That's amazing. Can we come? Honestly, don't knock it till you try it. It is really good. That sounds amazing. I want to go. If we have a curry, I'll take a picture of it. That's just so mean. Such a tease. (laughs) My Christmas random fact is about reindeers as well, Fliss. Mine is that did you know the reindeers are actually all female? Everyone thinks that Rudolph is a boy, but it's not. Rudolph is a girl. And that's because in wintertime, the male reindeers shed their antlers so they don't have them, but the females do. And obviously when you see pictures of all the reindeers on Santa's sleigh, they've all got their antlers on. So they, they must be ladies. Girl power. I would have assumed Rudolph was a gentleman. No. Yeah. Same. They're all ladies. Okay, thanks for those cool facts. I feel like I've learned a lot. The next round is going to be interesting. I, I, I don't know how well this is going to go, but let's just have some fun. I'm going to call it Guess the Christmas Song. <laughs> So what I've done is I've taken some Christmas songs and I've changed the words. And you need to guess what the original would be in the Christmas song, okay? Right. Without any tune or anything. No, I'm not singing. No way. I'm just going to tell you. Oh, well. So you just got to say words that are unrelated to a song. Okay. Synonyms. I'm going to change the words to synonyms. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this is a bit like, what's that thing on TV? I know what you That's mean. That's where I got the idea from. Um, Richard Osman's House of Games. Oh my God, my dad's obsessed with that. Yes, yeah, so is my mum. It's the best TV show ever, guys. And this is where I got the idea. To be fair, it is good. Thank you. Let's just do it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, great. Your first, your first song. Are you ready, guys? Born ready. Ready. You all need a buzzer sound. <laughs> oh, good idea. My buzzer will be... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> That's Fliss, great. I'll just go, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, I've not done one. I'll go, bing. Okay, are you ready? There's only four. There's only four songs, okay. The first song goes a little like this. Adorn the corridors with offshoots of prickly evergreen. la la Who said bing? Claire. Do you want me to wait longer so everybody has a chance? <laughs> I mean, I it would be, well. can, can I finish it? Because it, it did take me a long time to think. <laughs> yeah, go on, okay, go, go on. Start, yeah. Adorn the corridors with offshoots of prickly evergreen. Fa la 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 la. Tis the appropriate conditions to be jaunty. Fa la 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 la. Tis the appropriate conditions to be jaunty. <laughs> My favourite thing, no one else can see this when they're listening to the podcast, but your face and how pleased you are. With your- <laughs> Thank you. I am really impressed. Uh, I think these should be the original lyrics, I'm not going to lie. But... They are great. Thank you. So, come on, guys. What? What? Who's this song? Does Claire get that one because she buzzed in first? Oh, yeah. Buzz, what did you say, Claire? I said, well, I haven't said anything yet, but I will say... 
deck the halls. Yes. <laughs> Deck the hall with boughs of holly. Adorn the corridor with offshoots of prickly evergreen. You see? Do you get it now, guys? Do you get it? Are you coming with me? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Well, I think these are amazing, all right? To see appropriate conditions to be jaunty, what would that be? It is the season season to to be jolly. jolly. There you go. So am I the only jolly one here today? Come on, guys. Yeah. (laughs) I'm fully into it. Number two, are you ready? Ready. Okay. Elsewhere in a fodder rack, no bassinet for his foundation. The dinky noble saviour arrested his agreeable noggin. Oh, Bing! 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 <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Kate, Katie's turned into a sheep. Yes, Katie. <gasps> Away in a manger. Yes! yes! It was the noggin. <laughs> the noggin. What a great word. Thank you. Do you know, this one was really hard. The, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. Yeah, do you see what I did there? Uh-huh. Yeah, thank you. Great. Uh, so that's one point to Claire, one point to Katie. There are no prizes at the end, but let's just continue. Number three. Nippy the blizzard bloke was a chirpy, gleeful spirit Bing. with a corncob briar and a stubbed schnozzle and a duet of peepers made out of solid carbon. I literally got no idea. What? I binged already after the oh, first word. Oh, What's my sound? Nippy the blizzard bloke. <laughs> Come on, Charlotte. Oh, oh, the blizzard bloke. Oh, I forgot what I hung on a minute. Frosty the snowman. Yeah. I'm not hearing any buzzers. I'm not hearing any buzzers. Are you joking? I binged after the first word, mate. I get that. I buzzed. <laughs> is it Frosty the snowman? It is, Charlotte. I'll give yeah. it to you. Give it to Charlotte. Let's, let's be fair. I forgot my sounds and loads of noises just came out of my mouth. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my sound. I was like, hit me. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Nippy the blizzard bloke, I think is quite is a bit better though. I don't know. Yeah, I love it. It's memorable. I like it. That could be his nickname. Okay, so Fliss, I'm going to get you a point. You're the only one so far. No pressure. No pressure. Yeah, yeah. Last one. Previous Yuletide, I offered you my ticker. <laughs> but the succeeding revolution oh, of the earth, last you impart it up. Oh, Fliss, what, what is it? Last Christmas. Last yeah. Christmas. I gave you my heart. But the very next. Am I the only one? No one going to sing with me? I'm not going to sing on such a public platform, no. <laughs> but I appreciate you singing on such a public platform. Thank you. Well, I feel like I need to finish what I wrote because I'm really proud of it. Previous Yuletide, I offered you my ticker. But the succeeding revolution of the earth, you imparted it elsewhere. Present annum, to protect me from floods, I'll donate it to an unknown remarkable. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it's good, right? I don't know if it hits in quite the same way. Well, I think it's rather poetic. If I say so myself. It does sound more Shakespearean, doesn't it? I like, thank you. I'll take that. This took me ages to think of, guys. Okay, I appreciate the effort. Oh, we appreciate it. Did you write those yourself? Or I did. did. You did. They were quite good, actually, Shana. Backhand of a compliment. Thanks. <laughs> I like how you just said quite good. Yeah. <laughs> How long did they take? They took too long, is all I'm going to say, babe. Took too long. I thought you were going to say two hours. <laughs> it felt like it. You know what you could do, though? If anyone's listening and they want to do this as like a staff meeting game or something, um, what I did was I copied and pasted the lyrics and then I highlighted specific words and right-clicked and just looked at synonym. Oh. oh speedy. Hey. Right? So it's a good handy game. It's a good round to add into like your school quiz. There you go. Thank yeah, you. I do a Christmas quiz with my family every year and I think I am going to add this in. It's quite Sick. Good one, isn't it? Can you please use our one? Because it would just be jokes. Yeah, I'll just play the recording on Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one they do with the emojis as well. You know, where they yes through emojis and then you've got to guess what it is. I hate quizzes That's like good. that. I can't do picture clues at all. Just don't have the mental capacity, to be <laughs> honest. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. This is why we need to, you know, differentiate our games, guys. We're always teachers. Differentiate your games. Our last round of, you know, Christmas hilarity and jokes and fun times and ban is we all have to share a Christmas joke. And this has to be the cheesiest joke you can think of. And then we'll rate them at the end. All right. Okay. And see who's got like the, the cheesiest christmas cracker joke so charlotte hit me with it right what do santa's little helpers learn at school oh how to wrap presents no I know, i'm trying to think of like all the cheesy puns it'll be something elf like oh i think i know what it is elf regulation <laughs> i'm gonna let charlotte deliver the punch line. <laughs> do you want me to tell you go on yeah go on the alphabet oh, oh, you. D- oh <laughs> wow they all just make my skin crawl <laughs> I thought you just said you make my skin crawl then. I was like, yeah, you make my skin crawl too, Charlotte. Oh, dude, guys, guys, this is a family show. Stop it. Claire, can you top that? I will try my hardest. Are we ready? I'm ready. Uh What 
was the snowman doing in the vegetable patch? I've only got rude answers. <laughs> <laughs> what can we say that's appropriate? Um, oh, is it hot? No. Looking for a carrot. He was picking his nose. Yeah. It's a carrot, right? Oh, and it grows. Kids would absolutely love that joke. That yeah. would go down well with early years children. Wouldn't yeah, it? I might try it. I'll try it tomorrow. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, let us know what the uh, what the reaction then was. Just start mimicking picking nails. Up, oh, gross! Yum. <laughs> Bogies on your carrots. Good luck with your food play. Mm. Lovely. Uh, Fliss, can you top that? Why did the turkey join the band? Is it something to do with like a drumstick? <gasps> Ooh. Goblin? Turkeys gobble, don't they? Gobble, gobble, gobble. I don't know. You ready? Because it had drumsticks. Yes! No! Oh! Yeah! Go on, Katie. Katie guessed it! Yeah, you got that one, Katie. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but well done anyway. <laughs> uh, Katie, go on then. Can you beat it? Who hides in the bakery at Christmas? Who hides Elf? in me? Because I like Christmas food. <laughs> People that like cookies? <laughs> a burglar. <laughs> So literal, Charlotte. The one who just robbed it. (laughs) (laughs) It's a mince spy. (gasps) It's such an underreaction to what I think was one of the most quality Christmas jokes I've heard. (laughs) You generally think that's funny, don't you? (laughs) That was a good joke. Is that a pun? I like a pun. I think that was a pun. Okay, great. Good for you. Are you ready for my one? Do you better after your response to mine, yours better be out. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee this is gonna make this is gonna tickle you. All right, are you ready? What do you get if you cross Santa with a duck? Santa Um Quack. Christmas quackers. Mm. Yes! Oh a hey, Christmas quacker. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, you're all laughing. I win, I win, I win. All right, who's got the cheesiest one? Who was the most like, oh. I liked Katie's one. Yeah, I think I liked Katie. Yeah, but it's not about liking it. It's about, ooh. Oh, do you mean like the most cringe? Maybe Charlotte. Yeah, well, you've won that one then, Shana. What, me? Yours was the, like, like the most, like, oh. oh that was so me. mean, but you all laugh. <laughs> fake laugh. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> so blunt. Laugh. We faked it. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll take that one for the team. <laughs> Okay, well, that is the end. As a special treat for our listeners, because it's Christmas, we want to give away some presents to our listeners. Yay! I know, guys, we're just we're just like Santa. No, we're like our elf pictures. We are literally living our elf dream. What we're going to ask you to do is when we put the episode in our social media, when you see the picture of all our little elves with on this episode, all you need to do is comment a very specific emoji and you'll be put into a ballot to win a year's supply of twinkle membership three people are gonna win it guys three lucky winners feeling very festive this year twinkle for everyone (laughs) katie would you like to reveal what emoji they need to comment on the post to be entered into this amazing prize it's a poo emoji (laughs) no it's not no it's (gasps) you screwed stop it i'm sorry It's a Christmas tree emoji because it's a Christmas treat. Oh, yeah. There you go. So at the end of this episode, go straight to social media, go onto the posts of this episode and put a little Christmas tree emoji in the comment and you'll be entered in and three of you will be picked to win a year's membership of Twinkle on Us. So now it's the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it, guys. You've been super fun. And let's say Merry Christmas to our super, super listeners. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, yay. See, they got into the Christmas spirit by the end of it. I have that kind of effect on people. (laughs) I hope you had a lot of fun listening to this special Christmas edition of Twinkle Talks EYFS. We certainly had a lot of fun making it and just getting into the Christmas spirit. Whatever you're doing these holidays, we know that you've worked so hard this term. It's not been an easy one. Cost of living crisis, 
the beginning of an academic year is always full of assessments and reports and you get tired as it gets darker. So do the children. We get that. We get that. So do make sure you enter our giveaway. Three memberships for an entire year are going to be the prize. So get that Christmas tree emoji on this episode post on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, wherever you see it, put it in. We'll give you until New Year's Eve as well. We want to make sure as many people get the chance to be involved as possible. And whatever you're doing this holiday, I hope you have a really restful break. You so deserve it. I hope you are able to spend time with loved ones and get some downtime that you really, really deserve. On behalf of all of Twinkle EYFS, I would love to say a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2023. So that's it from today's episode. Thanks so much for listening and I hope you really enjoyed it. If you would like to get involved or would like to know more, come and find us on our social media sites. We have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest and TikTok account. All of the details will be in the description. And whatever you're doing, I hope you have a great day today.